The Department of Public Works is finding new and innovative ways to repair culverts that convey stormwater under the roadways without digging up the road and causing traffic tie-ups. Some culverts have been already cleaned and then lined on the bottom with rebar and concrete. Another method is a repipe, where strips of PVC and stainless steel are fed into a machine positioned right at the old pipe. The PVC and steel pass through a series of guides and rollers, are bonded together in a tongue and groove fashion, and a new pipe emerges which is fed right into the old corrugated pipe. A lot of the pipes that we're lining in this stimulus project are um, 36 and under, so they're too small for a man to fit inside to line with concrete. So this allows us to mechanically line smaller culverts fairly quickly, fairly efficiently, and fairly inexpensively. The pipe diameter is only slightly reduced, but the smooth surface of the PVC actually improves the water flow and prevents sediment from building up. The rib lock pipe also gives new structural integrity and costs a fraction of digging up the roadway and laying new pipe. If we had to replace this culvert, we had to go and uh, excavate the road and remove the old uh, culvert, replace with a new one and backfill and again pave the road. We are not disturbing the flow of traffic at all. After the new pipe is inserted, the end is saw cut and the space between the old and new pipe is grouted. The process takes hours instead of days, yet adds many years of life to the culvert. Once again, Public Works is using new technologies to rebuild and maintain the public infrastructure. It's faster, cheaper, takes less maintenance, and also presents less inconvenience to the traveling public. I'm Michael Drake. Now this is DPW, working for you.